Sometimes these little systems can be just as impactful on travel as the major storms. Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Mike Herr, checking in with you a little before 1 p.m. on your Veterans Day Thursday afternoon. Most mountain passes, even valley floors, are seeing periods of snow, wet roads that will likely become icy as we go through the overnight into tomorrow morning. We're hearing reports of slide-offs, rollovers, accidents. Please drive slowly for the rest of this afternoon and into this evening. It may not look overly impressive on our satellite and radar composite, but one of the reasons we're misled by this is because we have no low level radar coverage. There's too many mountain ranges in the way, and there's really just too much distance between radar sites uh, from Missoula to Great Falls to Billings to Idaho Falls. We're kind of in a radar gap across southwestern Montana. So what we can't see on radar, we have to basically look at our webcams uh, to see what's going on. Here's another interesting but potentially hazardous travel pattern setting up for the overnight into tomorrow morning. A Pacific storm is punching up into British Columbia, but it's pushing a warm front out ahead of that. And that's gonna bring temperatures up into the 50s as we go through the weekend. But there could be some rain with this uh, by tomorrow morning. There could even be some pockets of freezing rain on top of snow that's on the ground. So let's analyze that part of the future cast. And you can see as we go through about the next four or five hours up to about seven o'clock, most of the region seeing diminishing snow coverage, but we're still expected to see this lingering pockets of snow for Bozeman Pass into the Big Sky Livingston area. So there's still gonna be some pretty impactful weather going on for the evening commute in a small part of our viewing area. Bozeman Pass, Bozeman, southward down 191, you're gonna see more snow. That should diminish around 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Then we get a little bit of a break in the overnight hours. But tomorrow morning, here comes the warm front. And about five or six o'clock in the morning, our forecast model is showing that there could be some green or rain but there's also there's this pink area could be a rainstorm mix or even some freezing rain. If we get rain on top of snow that's on the ground with roads already becoming icy, that could really ice things up for that Friday morning commute. But by Friday afternoon, it should be warm enough for all rain and I'm expecting anything that's on the ground as far as snow cover should be melting off pretty abruptly. So hopefully a better uh, weather pattern for the evening commute for your Friday with this warm front moving through. And then we got a cold front trying to slice through early Saturday morning, not much with it, but a little bit of wind and slightly cooler temperatures in the rest of the weekend. It does to be looking to improve as far as temperature and overall weather conditions. So snow accumulations, you get a pass level and higher, several inches are likely picking up less than an inch in many of the valleys, but that's just enough really to cause a lot of icing on area roadways at all levels over the next 24 hours. In Butte, your general pattern should bring a few rain or snow showers tonight into tomorrow, and then mostly dry over the weekend. Another front with mixed precipitation on Tuesday, and then a cooling trend behind that into Wednesday and Thursday. For Bozeman, again, some rain and snow possible by early tomorrow morning. The Thursday evening commute is going to be horrible. It's horrible out there right now. That's not going to change much. The weekend should be slightly warmer and improved. And in fact, we could be in the upper 50s by Monday. Cold front could bring some showers and cooler weather by Tuesday of next week. Dylan, mountain pass is picking up some snow over the next 24 hours, but I think throughout the most part, you're looking at a mild and dry weekend. And West Yellowstone snow likely Friday, Sunday, and perhaps again Tuesday. But look at the cooling trend arriving next week.